I'm Luke and welcome to Down From The Attic. Have you ever wondered what chess would be like with lasers? Probably not, but I have a game here that kind of answers that question. This is Ket, and this is a game with actual freaking lasers in it. Oh yes, let's get this obscure thing down and have a look at it. This game has a very unusual design aesthetic to it. It's half cubist, half ancient Egyptian, but it works. I think the game looks great. It has a very definite colour scheme. Red, clear and black. I think this gives the game a touch of class. Definitely lends itself to an adult game, but don't let that put you off playing this with kids. The pieces are all solid frosty plastic, and there's plenty of them. The board is a heavy durable plastic, and painted to indicate specific squares on the board. There's raised hieroglyphics around the board too, adding to the ancient Egyptian theme. Ket is a two player game. Each player gets a number of play pieces to play with. Obelisks, pyramids, mirrors and a pharaoh. The pyramids have one side open with a reflective mirror there. Mirror pieces have a reflective surface on both sides. These pieces link into what make this game unique and special. To start the game, you arrange the play pieces in one of the three layouts in the manual. These are all symmetrical, both players have their pieces in the exact same arrangement. Traditionally, white goes first in chess, so player goes first here. The objective in Ket is to use your pieces to reflect your laser and hit your opponent's pharaoh. When you start, the laser is always positioned away from the pharaoh and you'll need to think carefully about how you're going to divert it but also how you'll protect your pharaoh from your opponent's efforts. This is definitely a thinking game. Each turn you'll have the option of moving a piece one space or rotating one 90 degrees. Once you've made your play, you fire your laser. There's a lot of forward thinking and trying to get into your opponent's head and figure out what it is they're up to. There's also a lot of strategy to this game. You don't want to make your strategy too obvious or easy that your opponent will block your laser's path. This game is about subtlety, plotting a route or even just seeing a route that your opponent can't to zap his pharaoh. Players can make things difficult for other players by zapping each other's play pieces. If you hit the back of any piece, the non-reflective side, that piece is removed from the board. This looks especially good with the opaque finishes of the pieces, they light up and glow pretty spectacularly. This rule also applies to your own play pieces, if you're unfortunate enough to zap your own piece, well, that's just bad luck, it gets taken off the board. You can be extra tricky and use positions of your opponent's pieces to devastate an effect. It's a totally legal move to bounce your laser off their mirrored pieces and if you can do this without them noticing, it's all the more satisfying. Obelisks can be stacked on top of each other, which means when you're moving them, you're moving too, which can be handy when you're wanting to use them to make a wall of protection. This can be particularly handy when you're using them to protect your pharaoh, as it means you'll see them getting hit and be able to strategize to protect it. The large mirrors can be used to great effect with them being double sided. You can zigzag the laser through the tighter spaces. This is a very sneaky move and often overlooked. You'd be forgiven for not knowing this game as it is a bit obscure. Ket came out in 2004 and had a re-release in 2010. The difference between the later issue is that the laser is put in another piece, the Queen, and that can be moved too. I'd be interested in seeing how this plays. Ket is a really fantastic game, with a mechanic unlike any I've ever seen before, though it's not for everybody. It feels like a classic game, but with a very modern twist. And anything with lasers in it, well, I think that immediately makes it cool. This game is comparable to chess or checkers, it's very much a thinking game, each move should be carefully considered and could really shape the outcome of the game for you. Seeing players your opponents can't and setting up attacks strategically is part of the fun with Ket. If you can track down a copy of this weird and obscure game, I definitely recommend buying it. You'll have a blast, literally. As always, I'm Luke and thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. If you like what I'm doing here on Down From The Attic, consider subscribing, liking and leave comments in the section below.